Thank you for joining us today. My name is Michelle Armstrong. I'm the Eastern Regional Account Manager. And joining me today is Jeff Todosiev, who's the Global Cannabis Director for Advion Intershim. We will be discussing cannabis purification using liquid chromatography, and we will review the benefits, process, and product offerings. We will be giving you a background and history of the company, discuss pesticide remediation and de-waxing, introduce what we have to offer for THC remediation and minor cannabinoid purification. We will stress the importance of in-house analytical and then summarize the system options and benefits. Intershim started as a family-owned French company established in 1970. Their focus was on specialized reagents for the pharmaceutical industry. The class of reagents are the building blocks and intermediates to create novel structures that may lead to a new drug compound. A chromatography division was established in 1980. Rapid growth allowed Intershim to become a global leader in purification solutions. In 2009, we were the first to market a solution with a single system to perform both flash and preparative liquid chromatography. Flash is used for intermediate purification and preparative chromatography is used for the final purification. Intermediate purification removes the bulk contaminants and the final purification is the polishing step which brings the target molecule to greater than 99% purity. In 2013, we began a collaboration with the University of Geneva and Advion to integrate mass spec detection. This enabled Intershim to be first to market with a mass triggered purification instrument. More recently, we announced our intention to merge Advion and Intershim and are in the process of becoming one single company. We expanded our support team and instrumentation offerings. 2020 also brought us a new CEO, Dr. Kaveh Kahen, the co-founder of Sigma Analytical Services. Sigma Analytical is a GMP certified lab, licensed under Health Canada for cannabis analytical testing. Kaveh is also the former general manager of mass spectrometry at Perkin Elmer. He is very familiar with the cannabis market and we will continue to develop new products for this rapidly growing industry. More recently, the legalization of cannabis and hemp at the state and federal level has fueled demand for faster, easier purification tools. In 2016, Intershim leveraged the power of the PuriFlash instrumentation to create a world-class system for R&D, cannabis processing, and minor cannabinoid purification. We still support the biotech industry, but now we have a new and exciting industry to support. That brings us to our complete timeline. It is clear that we are dedicated to cannabis purification, from the executive management to our expanding product line, we will continue to develop useful tools for cannabis purification. We are constantly improving our products and services with the goal of making our customers workflow easier and more efficient. Jeff is gonna take over and tell you how we got into cannabis and some of the purification challenges we face. Thank you, Michelle. Over the years, we've expanded our knowledge base outside of traditional pharmaceutical R&D to the field of natural products. Oregon State University works with a variety of samples from soil to bacteria thriving in deep sea hydrothermal vents. These are much more complex feedstocks compared to the reaction chemistry that we encounter in Big Pharma. The goal of natural product R&D is to isolate the active ingredient in a pure form. Plants and algae contain lipids and waxes in various concentrations which interfere with the purification process. A common technique removes the lipids and waxes, which improves the efficiency of the purification process. We've applied this knowledge to create a de-waxing technique, which does not require chillers or freezers. The technique is accomplished in about 20 minutes, saving valuable time and energy for moderate and high throughput operations. The same process, which removes the waxes, also removes pesticides and the output resembles a distillate. We have all heard reports of cultivation operations which have tested the soil for pesticides to ensure there will not be a problem with the finished product. When the soil is tested and deemed clean, the crop is planted. After the harvest, extraction, and distillation processes, the product tests positive for pesticides. Since the hemp plant naturally absorbs toxins from the soil, it is essentially a pesticide sponge. The pesticides are then concentrated in the extraction and distillation processes. One such toxin is mycobutanol, which is a fungicide to prevent mold. It is commonly used on cannabis, almonds, and grapes. Many California cultivators do not use mycobutanol, yet their extracts test positive for the toxin. 
The likely cause is airborne drift from an upwind almond or grape farmer. This is an especially harmful toxin because it converts to hydrogen cyanide when heat is applied in a vape device or other inhalable technique. Hydrogen cyanide was used as a chemical warfare agent during World War I, so there is good reason to ensure your product does not contain this toxin. Thankfully, we have a solution for the removal of microbutanol and a long list of pesticides and fungicides. The process can be scaled to meet this important requirement and will allow your product to pass third-party testing with flying colors. The feedstock can either be distillate or a crude extract. We support this technique with a detailed SOP along with on-site installation and training. Our claim to fame is our turnkey THC remediation solution. This includes a detailed SOP and methods. After distillation, you follow our detailed sample preparation, then open the pre-programmed method on the system and press play. It's an easy to use, fast processing solution. To give you a visual on how the system works, here we are loading the distillate onto the column through one of our pump lines. And the distillate moves through the column and then collection automatically starts in the fraction collector. We have various system options to meet the goals of our clients' throughput needs. Our ITM 535 has an output of 5.3 kilograms in a 24-hour day and has a 12.8 centimeter disposable column. Our ITM 5015 offers higher throughput at 12 kilograms per day and has a 20 centimeter repackable stainless steel column. Later in the presentation, we will show you the simplicity of packing and unpacking the column. While THC remediation is the dominant technique for cannabis purification, there is growing demand for minor cannabinoids and for good reason. The value of minor cannabinoids is significantly higher than a THC-free distillate. Our R&D team has the capability to develop methods for specific cannabinoids that are currently in high demand. We will also be looking to the future as there are over 200 cannabinoids many of which have been identified to have therapeutic benefits. We will soon be introducing SOPs for the minor cannabinoids which are presently in demand. As regulations restricting cannabis research have been relaxed, there has been an increase in publications which report the efficacy of various cannabinoids targeting specific ailments. This study focused on the use of THCV for cancer patients recovering from chemotherapy. In this study, CBG was shown to be effective at treating MRSA, also known as the flesh-eating disease. It is a highly infectious form of staph infection, which is transmitted by skin-to-skin -skin contact or after a person uses a contaminated towel or other object. There have been reported outbreaks in gyms, military barracks, schools, and prisons. This would certainly be a game-changing treatment to address this serious disease. In 2015, an estimated 3 million U.S. adults were diagnosed with IBD as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. This was a 50% increase from 1999, which reported 2 million adults. CBC has shown to be a promising treatment for this increasingly problematic condition. These are just a few examples which demonstrate the importance of large-scale solutions for minor cannabinoid purification. In this example, we are demonstrating the potential to purify CBC, which is found in low concentrations in most cannabis strains. Chromatography was developed by the Russian botanist Mikhail Svet in 1903. He produced a colorful separation of plant pigments. Chromatography has since developed into an invaluable technique to purify large quantities of pharmaceutical compounds. The largest application for chromatographic purification is insulin. In addition to purification, chromatography is used for the separation and identification of compounds. When you submit samples to a third-party lab for potency testing, the dominant technique is HPLC. When speaking with clients in the planning stages, we impress upon the importance of in-house analytical. There is no need to wait three or five days for test results, and you can monitor every aspect of the purification process from the field to the finished product. This is a typical process flow for a cannabis manufacturing facility. Testing the key points throughout the process ensures the material meets your criteria before it is introduced into the next stage. 
the process monitoring will ultimately yield a more consistent finished product. In this example, the analytical HPLC is used to validate the production method for THC remediation. The samples were obtained from the Intersham purification system and run on an analytical HPLC. The key differences between an analytical and purification HPLC system are flow rate, sensitivity, and column size. Analytical systems typically operate between one half and one mil per minute, where a purification system operates at 300 mils per minute up to several liters per minute. While both systems use UV detectors, the analytical systems are designed to detect low concentrations of sample, so a higher sensitivity detector is required. The typical column diameter for an analytical system is between 2 and 4.6 millimeters, whereas the purification system will use column diameters from 200 millimeters up to over 1 meter. Michelle will present the purification system options. We have system options for pilot scale R&D and for process scale. Both are small compact systems that fit on a bench. Here you can see the two different column options I mentioned earlier. Here's the disposable column on the ITM 535, and this is the 20 centimeter repackable stainless steel column. This is our high throughput process scale system, the ITM 5015. We have the flexibility to do through pump injection so you can automate the injection for semi-continuous processing. The column is 20 centimeter ID and is repackable. We have a full SOP on how to pack and repack the column and on-site training is provided upon installation. It is commonly used for THC and pesticide remediation. This shows you the column is inside the frame. In order to pack the column, the top piston is retracted and a slurry of the media and solvent is added to the column. The hydraulic piston compresses the bed to ensure stability and consistent linear flow. When it is time to repack the column, the bottom flange is removed and the piston is used to expel the media. After retracting the piston and attaching the bottom flange, the column is ready to be packed. This is our small but mighty system, the ITM 535. It is only 14 inches wide and it has a higher pressure rating for smaller particle size, which is useful for minor cannabinoid purification. You also have the flexibility to scale up to a 15 centimeter ID repackable column. It can be used for minor cannabinoid purification, de-waxing, pesticide, and THC remediation. We have over 30 different bonded phases in media and columns. The column is considered the heart of the HPLC system. It contains media, which allows you to separate and purify the target compounds. While we do provide detailed procedures to keep the column clean, eventually it's going to need to be replaced. Over time, the column becomes contaminated with impurities, which irreversibly absorb onto the media. We support our clients by maintaining inventory of the media and prepack columns at our distribution center in New York. We can also support your needs for analytical instrumentation, for potency analysis, and heavy metal detection. Along with the media replacement, another cost associated with chromatography is solvent. Chromatography is a solvent intensive operation, and we have developed our SOPs with this in mind. While we do not provide solvent recovery equipment, we have partnered with a US based manufacturer which offers equipment to meet the flow rates of our ITM 5015 systems. We are dedicated to the cannabis market, and we will continue to expand our capabilities much as we have done for the other chromatography applications. We thank you for your time and look forward to supporting your purification needs.